Hola y bienvenidos. I hope everyone's doing good. Today in our lección, our lesson, we're going to talk about telling time. So when someone asks you, ¿Qué hora son? Or, ¿Qué hora es? Which means the same thing. They're asking you, what time is it? ¿Qué hora son? Or, ¿Qué hora es? Means, what time is it in Spanish? So when you're telling time, you're going to be drawing on what you've already learned with counting, what you've practiced. And you remember the formula that we had for getting um, to look at bigger numbers. So when we're doing the bigger numbers, we always take the tens, we take the word and in Spanish, which is e, and then we take the ones. So for example, if we're doing the word 31, or the number 31, we're going to say 30 y uno, 30 and one, or 32, 30 y dos, and so on. Here is a, a sheet of the tens and how you can count all the way up to 99 here. If you need to refer to it, you can pause it or you can click back on this video anytime you need. But we've got right here 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. All the numbers that you need to count all the way up to 100. The 20s follow the same rule that our formula does with one exception. Instead of having three different words, the tens, the word and, and the ones, we squish them all together into one word and we replace e which means and in spanish with an i so instead of saying 21 to three different words we have 21 squished together as one word and then 22 22 and then 23 is 23 24 25 26 27 and 28 so all the words gets mushed together in the 20s but just like the other words it has that same formula the tens and the one except here it's also mushed together so, when you're telling time, when someone asks you, ¿Qué hora son? Or, ¿Qué hora es? They're asking you what time it is, and your response will always be, son las blank. So, if it's 9 o'clock, for example, you would say, son las nueve. Or, if it's 10 o'clock, you would say, son las diez. Remember the numbers that you've already practiced, and the numbers you've already memorized, uh, will get you through telling time. So, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. 11 and 12 will move you around the clock and telling time whenever someone asks you ¿Qué hora son? Here, looking at this at this clock, if someone were to ask you ¿Qué hora son? What would your response be? You would say son las, and then do you know what you would say? Can you guess? If you said tres, you are correct. Son las tres, just by looking at this clock here on the screen. So what about when it's 30 minutes past the hour? Um, though it's okay, in Spanish, to say um, son las doce con treinta, it's twelve and a thirty. It's more common to say son las doce y media. So instead of saying twelve and thirty, you would say twelve and a half. The word media means half in Spanish. Twelve thirty, son las doce y media. It is twelve thirty. So if it were two thirty and someone were to say, hey, ¿qué hora son? You would respond, son las dos y media. If it was 3.30, you would say, son las tres y media. 4.30, son las cuatro y media. Son las cinco y media. Son las seis y media. And you can just go, in, go keep going this way all the way down the clock. So, siete y media, ocho y media, nueve y media, diez y media, and so on. What about when it's a quarter past? A, a clock, like any good circle, can be divided into four equal parts. We call these parts quarters, or in Spanish, we call a quarter cuarto. So these, these cuartos divide the clock up into four, and they, they are 15-minute intervals in the clock. So, for example, if it were 2.15, or a quarter past two, as they say in English, in Spanish, you would say, son las dos con cuarto. It's two and a quarter. Son las dos con cuarto. Or if it were 3.15, you would say, son las tres con cuarto. It's three and a quarter. Or if it's 4.15, son las cuatro con cuarto. And that one's kind of tricky because cuatro and cuarto sound and look very, very similar. 5.15, son las cinco con cuarto. 6.15, son las seis con cuarto. And just like y media, you can keep doing this down the clock. If it were 7.15, siete con cuarto. 8.15, 8 con cuarto, 9 con cuarto, 10 con cuarto, 11 con cuarto, and 12 con cuarto. 
the exception to this rule is one o'clock. So if someone were to ask you, ¿Qué hora son? We always respond, son las blank. This is true for every number on the clock except for one o'clock. If it's one o'clock, when someone says, hey, ¿qué hora son? You would say, you would respond, es la una. It's one o'clock. Or if it were 1.30 and someone said, ¿qué hora son? You would say, es la una y media. Remember, y media means half, so it's one and a half. Es la una, it's one y media and a half. Or if it were a quarter past one, es la una con cuarto. So don't forget, when answering que hora son, we always say son las and then the time, except when it's one o'clock. Then son las becomes es la, es la una, son las dos, es la una, son las tres. So es la is always when it's one o'clock, es la una. <clears throat> Next, what you're going to do below this link in a Google Classroom, you're going to go into Spanish land. You're going to watch the video in Spanish land and you're going to turn uh, whatever device you're using, or if you're using the computer, you're going to use your cursor to move and scroll around in the video. You're going to see a bunch of floating clocks and you're going to write down the times of these clocks. You're going to write it out in word form and you're going to put those on a Google Doc. So after watching this video, you're going to watch another video in Spanish land, a virtual video, and then you're going to answer some questions in the Google Doc page. Okay, I look forward to seeing you guys later on. Stay safe and adios.